that there is a continuing controversy over the issue of medical certificates uh, issued by universities in Ukraine uh, for uh, students who have either just completed their studies or are in the process of completing uh, their studies. We started a series of discussions on this matter yesterday with Dr. Moni Gasper uh, in the British capital, London. Uh, today, I'm happy uh, to be joined by David uh, Kushredo, who is a fifth year student, uh, medical student that is, and who was studying uh, in Russia, or uh, rather in Ukraine, and uh, managed to escape with his life uh, and returned home uh, when the conflict started earlier this year. David has been on the show before. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, sir. And uh, we've been tracking you. Uh, first, uh, there is something that I thought I should draw your attention to if you knew about it. Um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is asking, actually, I read an advertorial yesterday that um, people in your shoes uh, should report to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for your documentation to be taken down so that you can actually be placed in Nigerian universities uh, going forward, um, possibly getting help uh, in securing your transcripts to make that possible. I thought that was good news. Um, it's, uh, it is good news, but um, to be honest, that's like the first time hearing from you. Yeah, it's in, today, it's in yesterday's newspapers, okay. actually. Um, all I, all, like, my mom, like, sent me something that, oh, some people from foreign affairs said I should write, like, my name, my mm -hmm. university, mm -hmm. like, just to give them my information. So, I've done that, but, like, this you're telling me it's very, very good news, sir. Yeah, at the end of it, my pro I'll, I'll get my producer to give you the document so that you, know, you can follow through with that. But let's come to, let's assume that uh, you, you weren't going to move to the Nigerian university, because mm -hmm. the last time I spoke to you, you were actually concluding the year studies. Yes, sir online now here we are faced with another huddle which says that if you complete those studies and you don't go back to ukraine if you do the balance of the studies online and get your certificate it will not be recognized in nigeria you will not be able to use it to practice in nigeria do you know this i heard of that yes sir and what has been the reaction of you and your colleagues well let me talk on the side of those who are graduating this year because right. um, six years, some seven years because of the language, it's not easy. And you can't say that after all they've done, even though it was online, you can't say that after all they've done that you like disprove them because what do you want them to do? I have, like they're my seniors, I have some of them, they are like in their late twenties that, okay, medicine was what they wanted to do. They tried other courses, but they're like, oh, no, they want to do medicine. And after going through it, the money, the effort, the sleepless night, and now it's like, oh, it's not going to be recognized. So what do you want them to fall back to? And these are the type of things that make people enter depression. And so it's not something nice to hear. Even as I'm not yet done with medical school, I'm going to my fifth year. And even I'm now like rethinking that, oh, if I'm not able to work in my country, if I can't come back to my country, then what's the point? Because the whole point is, okay, study abroad and, okay, come and make an impact in my country. But if that's not possible, then what else am I meant to do, sir? Well, actually, I, I, I tried to get some of, I will come back to you to ask uh, about the reaction of some of your colleagues, if you've spoken to any of them. But I, two things, I, I, I know that um, I got a, a message from one of your, well, not exactly a colleague, a senior, uh, who is about finishing and who said that the National Assembly had, in fact, cancelled that decision and i had to you know get a reply across to say no the national assembly has not cancelled that decision it cannot cancel that decision it passed a resolution asking for the decision to be reversed there are two separate things the decision has not been reversed mm -hmm. but more important is what are you guys thinking that you can do about it because there i checked as at the start of this conflict in late February, there were 4,300 Nigerian students in universities in Ukraine. It was about anything like 8% of the total number of foreign students in Ukraine. Yes, sir. And about 70 or 80% of you were in, medi uh, in the medical courses. So th there's a big number of you who are going to be affected by this decision. Yes, sir. 
What's been the reaction that you're getting? I mean, apart from you, I mean, what are others saying? Like, um, my friends don't just want to believe it because it's disheartening. Like, after all you've been doing that, oh, you can't come and walk in the place you were born or something like that. So, like, my friends, I would say, like, they've been calm about it, but I know, like, deep in their heart, it's not easy for everyone. They're obviously, like, not happy about the situation. So they are calm, but they are hoping that something is going to happen that is going to, like, work in their favor. The other thing about this is that already, even before this decision, those of you in the shoes of having left who had to leave, yes, sir. you were already facing hurdles, which you and I had spoken about before now, yes, sir. which is even in securing your transcripts to say, oh, okay, I want to move to another university where I can continue my studies physically. The universities in Ukraine where you were have put a couple of hurdles in your way to secure those transcripts, including, in some cases, having to physically return to Ukraine. Uh, so already there's a problem. With this now, do you think maybe returning to Ukraine, some may begin to consider that as a possibility? Um, I think, first of all, like, um, some schools in Ukraine are started, started making some headways, right? So um, I know of my friend in Ternopil, he was like, okay, the school said they can start either offline, but you can't travel to Ukraine, so you have to go through um, Moldova or Poland. So you have to get like a visa, a Polish visa. You have to tell the embassy the whole situation. And when you get to those countries, you have to go to Ukraine by land. It's a whole journey, but... What will you be going to Ukraine for? To go to school. Like, they said they're going to start offline. Really? Yeah, so they had like three options to do... Um, offline, online, and um, or like you get relocated to another university that they're trying to make like um, have like affiliation with some other schools in Great Britain to to like take some students. So okay. they had one of those three options to choose and they gave like a breakdown. If you're doing like offline, you need to come back to you, Ukraine. Of course, naturally. Yeah. And if you're doing online, say so they're going to provide, um, they're going to work with um, some um, medical um, organizations that help like make videos okay. so you have like free videos and you know, the teachers will help prevent like make clinic, clinic sorry help with clinical cases right to help those type of things so like some schools are making headway my school hasn't really started anything we keep asking but like they don't really answer so, so some are still trying, all online in your case yes yeah, so we're going to do, yeah you're going to do online as a start of four but if if you wanted to actually physically transfer to another university i mean I don't, I don't see your mom, for example, allowing you or agreeing with you to return to Ukraine under any circumstances <laughs> yeah. as things currently stand. Uh, so if you wanted to relocate or go to another university, you will need your transcript. Yes, sir. Now, that process which you described to me a few weeks ago that, were, that was laid out for you to be able to secure this transcript, is it still that way? Yes, because they haven't, like, because I said people keep asking in my school and they haven't like given any response. It's Which is this school? Like, I mean, for the record, just rem remind, remind everyone again about this school. Lviv National Medical University. Okay, because we were speaking to a prof just now uh, yeah. who is in Lviv, even though he doesn't lecture there, he's had to relocate there. He's in Odessa, or he's from Odessa, uh, you know. But so in that university, there's still no progress as to the issue of transcripts or securing it. No progress, sir. So if you wanted to go to a school in the UK or even in Hungary or Poland or Moldova physically, that is not relocating back to Ukraine, how would you do that if you don't have your transcripts? I said it's impossible, like, without the transcript. And I said my school has given us um, ways we can get it, which the ways are not um, palatable. You have to get expelled and you have to be physically present, which it's not possible. So. It's impossible to get any transfer to any school or anything like no that. No school will take you if you don't have a transcript. They will probably take you, but not from, like, if you're in your fifth year, you start again from the beginning, so. Yeah, that's like starting afresh, like a new student. Yes, sir. That wouldn't be palatable either to most of you. Yes, sir. Virtually all of you. <laughs> yes, sir. So what exactly, what exactly are you guys thinking of doing now? Are you organizing yourselves, for example, to make a case? Because you're Nigerians. I know I've read about... Uh, students in your situation in several other countries 
who have tried to organize to get their governments to intervene. Perhaps that's what has led the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to do what they're now doing. Yes, but that's going to take some time. In, you know, but in the meantime, what are you guys doing? To be honest, nothing, if I'm being honest with you. Like, we've not, because everybody's mind is not, like, in the right state of mind because of the whole situation. So we've not, like, come together to discuss or say we want to do anything. At this point, we are just hoping, okay, for the final year students, they release their certificate. And for us, that our transcripts are released or we have the opportunity to go back offline. But, like, in terms of coming together to do anything, it's not... That's not what we're thinking about. So there's so many other things that it's on our minds. So. You mentioned earlier on that many of you are kind of like depressed because you've gone through a lot already in the last four or five months. First, you had to live in a hurry, many of you, without any of your belongings. Yes, sir. And then you had to go through this harrowing journey through uh, places where, at best, we would say they were dangerous. In many instances, they were more than dangerous. And then you had to find your way in foreign countries all the way back home. In your case, some other people are still in those other places they had to run to. Uh, and then now you're faced with all these huddles. Not difficult to imagine why you would be upset or why you would be uh, depressed, as you pointed out. But going forward now, because you do want to continue. Yes, sir. So w what are the options that you think would be viable for you? I mean, the whole issue of the recognition of the certificate for someone like you is still a year or two down the line. It's not immediate. Yes, sir. But there are a few people who are supposed to graduate this year. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So they, for them, they, they are in a different situation. But for you, what are you looking at? So if I continue with Lviv, um, it's probably going to be online. So um, I would need to get that experience, like go to the hospital. And what uh, I feel is like we have to have like um, maybe an, uh, in Nigeria, maybe they could help like the foreign students get to like those hospitals, have like hospitals take us into make us like, get like, acclimatized to the hospital environment because... Yeah, and, and get practical experience. Because one of the reasons the regulator gave is that uh, medicine is not what something you can completely learn online and that you need to be in the hospital, you need to yes, relate with people if you're going to be a doctor. Yes, sir. That makes sense, but it's not your fault that you're not able to do that right now. Yes, sir. So in this situation, you've just mentioned now being absorbed into... Uh, uh, the, the system one way or the other. But supposing you could get your transcripts and you could be placed in a Nigerian university to complete your studies. Is that the kind of thing that you or those like you who you talk to would consider? Is it a viable option? For me, it's not out of the option. If um, a Nigerian university wants to absorb me, it's not out of the option. But we have to look at the fact that um, in Nigeria, what university is going to absorb us and constraining the whole let's think of like if it's the federal university or state, state university because there's always strike all the time and majority of us that go um abroad like the timeline is six years you're doing your six years now here you do six years you don't know probably when you're going well, to finish. actually universities the federal universities are on strike as you and i sit here and are speaking and they have been for most of this year anyway yes sir so that's that and that was the reason why many of you went outside in the first place not so viable what does that leave us with? <laughs> to, to be honest, it, I'm scratching my head because <laughs> I know you're probably scratching yours. What does that leave that? So I, as I said, I don't know. So what I feel we can do or what I can do is if the whole situation doesn't end, continue to do the online and not necessarily like getting into other universities, but like at least um, hospitals or like organizations can come together to help us. Okay, you're done with your um, school come and do the practice or when you are you have like this period to do like your practice to get like that experience or something like that as we can't do medicine online trial you can have the practical knowledge i won't lie to you so i have the knowledge in the world but if they said oh come and do this i'm like okay i would need like assistance but absolutely those are those are some I mean. of the difficulties here okay finally before I, before i let you go I, I i must then ask this because i've asked some of your colleagues uh, off of the program and they said well we're intending to come back here and practice anyway <laughs> because it's not exactly as if the doctors here are in very good stead so if they don't recognize our certificates it's their loss um 
Do you have that feeling? Yes. I no no not, I do want to come back and practice in Nigeria at some point. But they they are making it difficult and it's not supposed to be. I feel that okay, some people study in Nigeria, all good and fine. With that study abroad that want to come back, it's a new perspective. You know, like because you can't just have the you know, in Nigeria, yes, they could teach you some new things, but People come in, they could help those in Nigeria, and those in Nigeria could help those that are abroad. So yes, I've, I've had that opportunity. That, okay, if Nigeria does not want to accept myself, that other, other countries would. But it's my country, and I do have to help my country, and I hope that like, in the future that it's been able to be like resolved, and those, this type of things will happen, sir. David Koshodo, uh, I can only wish you the best. Thank you, sir. Uh, I will keep up with you and continue to track you. Uh, I hope uh, when uh, you get the results from the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, advert, uh, we'll bring you back to come and give us the update and yes, find out how, how that works out. But for this morning, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for being with us. Let's have other stories, but coming up later, we'll have all the unpacking of the business news. And there are people still dancing in Ukraine, despite all the despair. Please stay on with us.